8.30 and 11.30 on the BBC News Channel. This is BBC News, I'm Julian Warricker. The headlines at four o'clock. Agrochemicals giant Bayer Monsanto insists that its weed killers are safe to use after an American jury ruled that they caused a man's cancer. An airline employee who stole an empty passenger plane from Seattle airport is thought to have died after crashing on a nearby island. A 29-year-old man is killed and another man is seriously injured after an explosion at a military hardware factory in Wiltshire. A warning, the Australian Army could be deployed in New South Wales to help farmers deal with the worst drought in living memory. Also coming up, mission to the sun on hold. NASA is forced to postpone one of its most daring ventures until tomorrow because of technical problems. And in Dateline London, Sean Lay and the panel discuss Washington's imposition of sanctions on Russia and the row between Donald Trump and Turkey. Hello, good afternoon and welcome to BBC News. The manufacturers of Britain's most widely used weed killer, Roundup, are insisting that it's safe after a court in the United States awarded hundreds of millions of dollars in damages to a man with terminal cancer who says it caused his illness. The jury in California decided that the US agrochemical company Monsanto knew the herbicide spray was dangerous but failed to warn consumers. The company insists the product does not pose a risk to health. From California, James Cook reports. Dwayne Johnson.